Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Void Pack 2 mod pack tutorial where, in case you haven't noticed, everything is really different because I just recorded the second episode of the tutorial and then realized I had my microphone turned off the entire time. Aren't I smart? Yeah, I know. Okay. So basically, I just left all of this the same and removed the main things. I left the platform the same size, removed the main things that I had done. Um, except for the cobblestone. I kind of left that there. Forgot about that. And I'll keep it there. Doesn't matter. Okay. So basically, what happened was, yeah. So I wanted to you do that one this one this one and that one and last episode which is another thing i forgot oops last episode at the end of it we had put some silkworms in a tree which had turned into an infested tree and i used a crook to as you can tell get some silk from said tree yeah so basically, in case you didn't catch last episode, you gotta put, you take the silkworm, right click on a leaf, it'll cover that leaf, and then once that gets to like 50%, I think, it might be 40%, then it'll start spreading to the surrounding leaves, and then you can use your crook to harvest them. Something that I didn't cover last episode, which somebody in the comments kindly reminded me of, is vein miner which is used by holding in the grave button on your mouse key on your not mouse keyboard that's the default i don't know what you may have set it to but the default is grave i believe and um it should be on most computers right below the escape key that's it, at least on pcs i, I don't know about mac I've never used a Mac, so, yeah. But on PCs, it should be right below the escape key. So basically, yeah, okay, that one is almost completely infected. Uh, one of the things that I did was... Bad. Probably didn't need to turn all that into this. Well, obviously, I made a chest. One of the other things I did was I made a achievement stand which is made obviously by doing that and then there you go here's my achievements now let's see that's completely I didn't get a string from that what is this garbage you know what I'm going to fast forward until that is or at least cut until that is completely grown into silk Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Here we have a mostly infected tree. As you can see, the leaves turn whiter and whiter as they get infected. Because basically the silkworms are based off of, like, bagworms. I don't know if you've ever seen those. But they do pretty much the same thing as silkworms, just slightly less nice about it. But yeah. So, here we have our silkworm tree. There we go, got my silk from it. Achievement done. Craft a sieve. This part is quite easy. You take some string. Do it like that. Get yourself two of those. Four of those and two of those and voila, you've got a sieve. Okay, you know what, I'll throw some in there too. Um, also, I do want to make an axe to cut down that tree. And then I'm going to plant one of these. Bone meal that guy. Holy crap! 
Mamma mia. I need to make myself some slabs. I'll use the rest of them to expand a bit back here. There we go. Come up here and let's vein mine this way. Well, that went well. Die. There we go. And she's dead. Okay. Now let me slowly break my way down. There we go. Okay. There we go. All my crap. Not literally. That would be awkward. Yeah, I won't do that again. Okay, sorry. Um, let me make another crook. Okay, so, next achievement. You did craft a sieve. Collect rainwater in an oak barrel. Actually, that happened. Um, it rained while I was setting up the video, so... Basically, if you have an oak barrel that isn't covered by anything leaves will cover it but if it's out in the open there's nothing covering it and it rains then it'll fill up with water so and now craft cobblestone from dirt now I believe we have a billion and a half leaves well a billion and a half saplings I should say so now what I want to do is I want to make an axe because I'm going to need that at some point Make some more sticks. Make some more planks, because I need one of those to make myself another barrel. And actually, I like having even numbers. Weird like that. Okay, now let me break this barrel. That's the only way if you don't have a bucket that you're going to get the um, water out of it. So let me throw those guys down there. Fill each one up with some saplings it takes at eight saplings to fill a barrel why didn't you grow fast and actually the um modern tree growing simulator 2015 or whatever mod it was called 2014 I don't know what it's called but that mod um it actually doesn't just respond to the um, shifting. It actually responds to just movement. The more you move around the saplings, the faster they grow. So, yeah. Just a little hint of info. The trees will grow faster if you're moving a lot around them. It doesn't have to be shifting. There we go. A dirt. As you can see, you fill it up with saplings. Leaves will work as well. In fact, leaves are slightly more productive and, and useful because with leaves, um, you don't have just the slight chance of getting the saplings. You get a leaf from every one that you break, but you have to have shears to get it. So, But yeah, that's how you get dirt. Um, come over here to the sieve, right-click on it with the dirt. It will give you some random stuff. It gave me three stones that time. There you go. I've got enough stones to make... Wow, got a lot from that one. Oh, and rubber tree seed. That's good. Okay, grass seed, acorn. What was that one? Carrot seeds. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That'll be good for later episodes. Okay, so... That is not how you craft cobblestone. That is how you craft cobblestone. As you can see. And another thing you can do with these stones... You can throw them at things. They do like one heart of damage, I think. But yeah. That is the um, stones, how you get cobblestone and all that. Let me get a bit more. 
next episode I will try and get like the um a hammer um yeah I'll try and get like the hammer probably that one I don't know if I'll get to that one probably that one but yeah I'll try and do like three more achievements next episode um, hopefully you've en enjoyed this probably rather short video, wasn't really keeping track of time, but this probably rather short video on Void Pack 2. Um, if you did enjoy, like this video if you haven't seen the previous one, there will be a link to it in the description. If you did not go see the video telling you about how you can enter to win a, um, free copy of Shellshock Live, then... I will have like a little notification up in like this corner of the screen probably when the video started. So yeah, it'll be like a little eye. Click on that. That should give you a link over to that one. I'll probably actually put a link to Void Pack 2 episode 1 thing there as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about that, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, then don't hit the like button. Please, I'm begging you. Just don't do it. I know you want to. Just don't. It's not worth it. But yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, then subscribe, and that will drastically help your chances in winning that um, game. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I guess that's it, so I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>